Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 5.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 27 off the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a dog crate shaped like a rectangular prism. And we have the dimensions shown right here. So it looks like it's a pretty tall dog crate in order to fit that dog. So here is where the really tricky thing comes. Take a look at this question down here at the bottom. What is the area in square inches of the shaded floor of the dog crate? If I were to take this sentence off and completely eliminate it, you would most likely think this is a volume problem because I see three different measurements. I see length and width and height. But we are simply looking at the area of in square inches of the shaded dog floor. So it's this rectangle here at the bottom. Area is a two-dimensional measurement, which means we only need two of these measurements. We need these two, the length and the width. We'll talk about that 30 in just a moment, that height. But what we need here is if we're looking for area, we need to be able to match what the equation is on our reference chart, on our mathematics chart. And we know that area is length times width. Now you'll normally see it like this, LW, you might see it like this, L, and then the little X, and then the W. But we're really going to start going more towards this in fifth grade and above, simply because that X can sometimes be a variable. It can be an unknown. And it kind of gets confusing when sometimes it's a variable, sometimes it means multiplication. So what we'll do is we'll just put two numbers next to each other. And we will simply know that if there are two letters next to each other, or you've got a number uh, outside of the parentheses, then that means we are going to do multiplication. So multiplication is going to be assumed from fifth grade and above when you have two letters next to each other or when you use parentheses. Sometimes we'll do this, we'll do L, and then that little dot, which can work when we're dealing with letters, but if we're dealing with numbers, guess what? That looks a lot like a decimal point. So multiplication, let's just multiply. We've got 36, and let me show you what it looks like with parentheses. We're going to say 36 parentheses 24. So that means multiplication. So let's just do our 2 by 2 multiplication. Let's see what that looks like. 36, 24. And it's going to be 24. 4 times 3 is 12. Add the 2 back in, and I've got 144. Second row is going to be 12. That's 6, that's 7. So I've got 8, 64. Now I multiplied inches. So you can either say inches with that little 2, or you can say square inches. Either one of those works. And you'll notice we have 864 right there at A. So you might be thinking, well, that was super easy. Well, it was. It was simply a 2 by 2 multiplication. But here's the trick. What do we do about this 30? Well, let's say we didn't read this question. And let's say we just saw, oh, three numbers, 36 times 24 times 30. Well, what happens if we take the 36 times 24, which is our 864, and then we multiply by that height. Well, now this is going to get you volume. And we're not looking for volume. But let's just see if that answer is there. 0, 0, 0. That was easy. Now let's do our 3. So I've got 12. I've got 18. I've got 19. I've got 24. And I've got 25. So we've got 25,920. So thankfully, that answer is not there. So even if you decided to do all that, you would say, I am nowhere near close. My answer here is A.